Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our previous lecture of exception handling series, we discussed about how to handle exceptions using try-catch block. And what we are going to discuss about today, we are going to discuss about how to handle multiple exceptions. So there are two ways. Uh, one is using the single catch block, a generic way, which is not a recommended approach. Then using the multiple catch blocks, which is a recommended approach. So we are going to discuss both the approaches one by one. So without further delay, let me jump onto the code side. Meanwhile, in case you want to take a look on my previous lecture, you can go back to my previous lecture and uh, gain more understanding on exception handling, right? And uh, I'll be sharing the same in the icon. So uh, this is uh, what we were discussing last time. We were uh, discussing a very uh, basic example wherein what we were trying to do, we were having one main method, right? Wherein we were calling a test method and we defined one array having five values starting from zero with index till fourth index. Then we were calling this test one method. So when we call this uh, test one method, we were trying to perform operation on array of five. We were trying to print array of five, which is not a valid index. So uh, in this in this case, what we were expecting, we were expecting array index out of bound, right? And we were able to handle it using this catch block, right? But what if we get multiple exceptions? How to handle such scenario, right? So let us say um, uh, I am going to write one more explicit exception. Exception I mean int a equal to ten by zero, which is something undefined in mathematics and with respect to this we will get one arithmetic exception right but uh, so what what is going to happen either i'll uh, get exception at this location or i'll get the exception at this location so if i get exception at this location so i have written a relevant or appropriate catch block for this i don't have a catch block right so what will happen in this case so in this case if i'll simply run this particular program the control uh, won't go to this catch block and we will have uh, we, we will get the program terminated so let me run it uh, in this case we got try with lower index for because we got the exception at this location only so i'm going to correct it first Now I'm running it uh, once more. So if you see, uh, we got the exception, uh, arithmetic exception divided by zero, right? So uh, we have corrected this particular line of code where we don't have any exception anymore. And we have now exception at this location. So when we got this exception, we don't have a relevant catch block. This is where I started getting this exception. So how to handle such exception? So there are two ways. One way is to use one single catch block. So I'm going to use first approach first, exception, exception, equal to S out, exception is handled. Whatever the uh, actions you want to perform at this particular location, you can write. Now, why I use this exception? The reason is exception is a parent of each exception class. So if I simply write this particular catch block, it this particular catch block can handle any kind of exception. We don't need to explicitly define. So let me run the code once more. So you will see exception is handled and the control went to this particular catch block and exception is handled. So be it uh, first exception that is array index out of bound exception or arithmetic exception, the control will always go to this catch block. So I have uh, now again, I'm now again trying to perform array of five, which is invalid index. Uh, I again got exception is handled. So the problem with this particular problem, uh, particular catch block is we won't get some generic, uh, some relevant message. Meaning, for example, in both the cases, I'm getting the same same message. Exception is handled, but this is not going to help when we are trying to figure out the problem, right? When we will try to find out the root cause, right? So using one catch block, uh, that too with one generic exception is not a recommended approach. So I'm going to remove this particular catch block. Then uh, now what I what else I can do? I can use multiple catch block, right? So in this case, what will happen? I am going to simply write arithmetic exception and arithmetic exception, right? Now what I am going to do? I am going to uh, enter perform valid operation, right? Now in this case, what will happen? First of all, 
array of five we are trying to perform so the control should come to this particular catch block the first uh, array index out of bound so if you see try with lower index index five out of bound for length five right so we got one uh, respective message with respect to this particular exception right now i am going to make it correct meaning i am going to uh, get the right value from array of four so the this particular statement will execute without, without an exception and the control will come to line number 30. So in this case, if I will run it again, what will happen? So the control now will go to arithmetic exception. So if you see, I got perform valid operation. Right. So this is how we can perform separate operation for each type of exception. And this is the recommended approach. And this is how we can use multiple catch blocks. So this is it from current lecture thank you for watching in case you like my video please like share and subscribe and share it with others and in case of queries please feel free to reach out to me uh, in the comment section